Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today we are wrapping fascia boards on our deck. So if you like what you see, don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that bell icon uh, to be notified when we're putting out new content. Did you know that 80% of our audience that watches our videos does not subscribe to our channel? Wow, that's a lot. So if you haven't, please click that subscribe button. It means the world to us. And uh, besides that, let's see how we're doing. Uh, I'll lead you back from Friday. The guys had installed three of the stair levels of fascia. We're just getting to the top one right now. So uh, we had a couple of issues. We had to sand out a couple of things and file out some stuff and we got that handled. So now we're just gonna finish up this last piece. Once that's done, then we need to wrap the lower deck so that I can finish the side pieces of the staircase. Once that's done, then we can finish wrapping the top of the deck. So that's the plan today. That's probably what we're gonna get to and that's our goal. So follow along, see how we do. If you have any questions, drop them below. I'll try to get back to you in a timely fashion. Don't forget to check out our shorts as well. They're usually at the bottom of our page. So um, last week I was able to install these uh, mitered corners. So I was able to get those made and installed. So what happens is once these corners are on, we're adding another layer of fascia around the deck and we're using a, a piece of decking, okay? Because our first layer of fascia is a, a one inch thick board and then we put a thinner piece below it. So it gives it a step look. All right, so my board's a little long. I gotta cut it down. But what happens is, this seam becomes the expansion and contraction in the board instead of the miter this way. So it, it gives it a more controlled way to expand and contract versus trying to cut this board all the way to the corner. And this miter would never look good for the rest of the life of this deck. Once it comes apart, it'll stay apart forever and it's always gonna look terrible. We've been uh, occasionally doing these mitered corners. I haven't implemented them on every single project but it's something that I'm considering doing because I really like the way that uh, this project's turning out. And if you install them right, you can make these 90 degree cuts and then it's a pretty easy way to install the fascia. Because of our overhang and our deck board, when I put these bottom screws in, our deck board kind of slanted. So I think you've filmed me doing this before, but sometimes with Cortex, you can pull it out like so, and it straightens out a little bit, but because I need to straighten out so much, the reverse threads of the screw isn't really gonna hold this in. So I'm coming through and putting some old composite shims in and putting these behind, and then I'm screwing through them so that way it strains out the board and makes it solid. All right, so we have all of the front pieces of fascia on our stairs and uh, we have the lower deck fascia, the first layer of that on as well. And so now I need to kind of connect the two together with some side stair fascia, which I'm getting ready to make right now. And while I'm doing that, Nazi is finishing up the uh, last piece of the lower deck fascia. And then uh, he's going to start filling all the corks while I'm trying to make these parts, because these take a minute. Uh, usually I attach these before we have all this stuff installed. Because it was such a large staircase and because of the curves and all the complexity of all the fascia, I decided to wait until it was done. So I just sanded all these out. I'll have a little G-tape to put in here, but I sanded everything out so it's nice and flat all the way down here. So I can put a board on the side of this and have a rise to it and make it'll look really nice that way. I'm gonna use some multi-width here and then as I get down, I'm gonna do a return down onto the top of this piece right here. 
So that's what I'm up to. Stay tuned and see how that turns out. All right, so one of the trickiest angles that I have to figure out is the return on the staircase where you figure out the angle of the staircase and then you have this small little return piece, which you'll see in a subsequent video or maybe at the end of this video, and it drops down onto the deck. And I've never been able to figure it out. So what I did was I figured out what my staircase angle was, which was 24 degrees, okay? And then I took 24 degrees and I subtracted that from 90, which gave me 66, okay? And then I took 66, which is the residual degree, but I have to have half of it because I'm putting it on a miter. So 66 divided by two is 33 degrees. So I thought, I thought that all out in my head and I actually did this, the math in my head and I wrote it down on this tape measure. And I'm not even gonna look at it, but I'm pretty sure right here, I wrote down what I thought the angle was gonna be for this part down here. I'm making two parts to this uh, staircase return. There's a small piece and a large piece, and I was trying to figure out what this angle was, but this angle has to be whatever it is, which is 24 degrees. Subtracted that from 90 and divided in half, and that gave me what this miter was, which is 33 degrees. So that's the first time in 30 years that I was able to mathematically figure out what this angle was supposed to be. So if you come up here, what I did was I set it up here and I mocked it up and then I, I found the two crossover points on this board. Now if you come over here, and I drew this line right here, and if you look at my degree right here, it's 33 degrees. So I guess we'll find out and see if that works or not. All right, so obviously this is sticking up too high, right? So normally I would cut this flush and paint it. I have some color matched end grain paint that matches this color of this deck board, but I'm gonna go the extra mile and I'm actually gonna rip a very thin piece of the edge of this board. I'm gonna cut this to the right height and then I'm gonna glue this down so that it looks like it's factory made that way. And that's how we do it, Dr. Dex. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece of the end of a deck board that I just ripped down and I'm gonna file this out and I'm actually gonna glue it right to the top of this so it looks like a factory edge. What do you think? guys thanks for watching i really appreciate it hope you enjoyed our fascia details today if you like what you saw please 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 click that subscribe button and if you want to be notified when we're putting out new content which is usually three days a week hit that bell icon as well don't forget to comment on our videos and also like them if you please thank you very much guys have a great day thanks for watching our channel